afternoon. It is Friday, October 5th. Yeah. Um, this is episode tw uh, 54, 54 of Three Sisters Knit Podcast. I am Sheila. I am she she 62 on Ravelry. And I'm Margaret, and you can find me as Magpie60 on Ravelry. And you can find us. We have a Ravelry page or group that we're not very involved with mm -hmm. um and it has three sisters knit if you want to go in there mm -hmm. um but if you really want to see what we're working on our projects and that it's probably best just to go to our ravelry pages and our personal see, ones yeah, yeah and you'll see the projects that yeah. we're working on we yeah our the ravelry our ravelry group we do have one um we do post uh the show notes there i haven't been doing that not for the last little bit yeah but we have uh, ones and introduce yourself. So yeah. if you're new, we would really appreciate you just saying hi. Just stop by and say hello. Stop by, say hi, let us know a little bit about yourself. Yeah. Um, we also have one, I think we still have it open, the recipes. I did that like a year or a year and a half ago. But yeah, <laughs> we like, as I, people wanted some of my recipes oh, that I was okay. doing. So I put them on there. Yeah. So if, or if anybody like, for us this weekend, it's the Canadian Thanksgiving weekend. Mm -hmm. So I've been baking all week. I've been making rhubarb muffins, which are delicious. Mm -hmm. uh, I did some banana muffins. I did uh, oatmeal raisin cookies, oatmeal chocolate chip cookies, and ginger, ginger. cookies. I used the Grocery Girls recipe. Yes. They are to die for. They are really they good. They are so good. They're soft. They're chewy. They're absolutely delicious. Yeah. Um, the only modification I make of their thing is they sit, they roll like you roll it and yeah. put it on the I, all in sugar. I just only put sugar on the top. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think we need that much sugar. <laughs> but it's, they're delicious. They're either way. really really good. Yeah, and they're absolutely delicious. So um, I've made them, and their recipe is in. If you go to their Ravelry page, I think their recipe is on. Is they have a Ravelry. Their, yeah, okay. is, is on their Ravelry feed somewhere. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but yeah, that and I did some tea biscuits. Yes. Yes. Some plain and some with raisins. Lovely. I'll give the raisin ones to my dad. He yeah. likes them with raisins. Yep. So. <laughs> so, uh, we, if this is your first time, uh, we are a knitting, we usually talk about knitting and fibers and, uh, yarn dyers and that sort of thing. So, um, we're quite happy that you mm -hmm. stopped by. And if you are joining us again, um, thank you very much for stopping by. Yes. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about the projects that um, Sheila has one FO and yep. then we both have um, some whips. So, mm -hmm. yep. I know. I so know. why don't you show your FO? Because my FO is my September socks. Mm -hmm. I did finally finish them, but I finished them October 1st. I'm supposed <laughs> to, I, I just, it's been crazy. And I was sick yeah. for that last week yeah. of September. I was quite sick I just like chills the whole thing and I'm still getting it's all in my nose so I'm still getting over it um anyways these are the socks these are the Galliano socks Tracy Miller's Galliano yeah. socks they're very cool so I've got them twisted so you can see that's the pattern it's just on the front the back mm -hmm. is plain mm -hmm. so yes yeah, so they're both done see I do have two they're both done so Margaret gets to take them home with her today. I'm so excited. And now that it's getting chilly, I'm like, yay, yay. another pair of hand knit socks. Yes, I know, <laughs> I know. And they do. These are really, really nice. I really enjoyed working on them. They're, it's a great little pattern to work on. An mm -hmm. absolutely wonderful little pattern to yeah. work on. Yeah, quite simple. And they do, they actually knit up quite quickly because the back is just stuck in it. Yeah. So they do knit up quite quite quickly, I like which I like really like really nice. I've discovered that I really I love the look of a sock that has a pattern mm -hmm. especially like a lacy panel down the back I love yep. the look of it but I don't like working on it <laughs> yeah I know I know but it's not bad it would it did like it just it just knit up so and it's got a nice heel it's got a different bit of a heel construction the bottom of the heel mm -hmm. is slightly different okay than the other heel flapping gussets for some reason I found it a little different it just knit up differently yeah it did but it was fine. It, I had no issues with it. It's just I just wanted to let everybody know that it is slightly different. Like there's the side, and then it goes. There's the bottom. The heel. The, bottom the, heel, of the heel is is quite. Uh, let me do this way. This might see it better. See how it's very square. Oh yes. On the bottom, very usually cool. usually it spreads out, but this yeah. is quite square. Yeah. So 
but it's quite yeah it's quite nice now the yarn I used was Georgian Bay fibers this was their I believe it's their Penjali fingering which is BFL and silk mm. so it's a good sturdy sock and mm -hmm. the silk really helps give it the BFL some extra strength too. yes yeah so and this was uh, one of her tonals and it's called um, Aspen Valley Fawn mm -hmm. so yay Yay! Margaret Yay. gets her socks. <laughs> I'm really happy about that. I know. I know I'll be wearing them an awful lot as, yeah. as the season progresses. So. Yeah. Yay! Um, and I've started on my. Uh, I have actually managed to start on my October socks. They are. Um, the pattern I am doing is called um, Love Struck Heart Socks. See, so and it's hearts. got the heart on the back. You can see yes. that's it with it on the back right there. So that's actually quite short. Um, I was checking it. I was going through the pattern yes. and looking at the pattern and doing so, the um, counting the rows. And I know how long I, a leg that I like. Mm -hmm. um, I like it to be about sixty rows. Yeah. And it, this only works out to about 30, like half the length. So mm -hmm. I'm going to actually double it. Okay. So. I knew you were going to do at least one more. But yeah. Okay. So I'm at, yeah. So I'm two. actually going to do four hearts yeah. down the back yeah. instead of two. Uh -huh. So I'm, I'm going to double it. Okay. So because the heart pattern itself is 15 rows. Yeah. So. And they're and they're actually they're quite they're, you look in the picture they they look big but no they're actually quite small they're mm. only about an inch or just over an inch size in the heart oh it's so cute I know and it's on both sides so I the love that. I know the uh, yarn I'm using is yarn enabler it's her uh, teacup reading yeah and I'm going to uh, use for the heel and the toe. I've got, this is what's left over from Margaret's sock, and that's what I'm going to do because it's got the brown in it. It's going to look amazing Because I was that. like, oh, I've got so many other yarns I could have used. There's yeah. actually a little speck of yellow in here throughout. Oh, that's interesting. And I had another yeah. yarn I was thinking of using. Yeah. I think it was for my April sock or something like, like that. absolutely perfect with it. I know. Especially I since that... you think of tea and tea leaves. Yeah, it's a nice, yeah. It just, it just really. So I I've actually got both I've got that's one and I've got this much of the other one started I've just started the pattern on the second oh, one okay. because I'm going to do it concurrently yeah um I wanted to get it done because I've I don't mind doing them separately but I find they just feel I feel I get them done quicker if I do them concurrently that's yeah all. you probably spend the exact same amount of time but yeah I find you know what it, it is just when feels... you when you get like a one sock done mm -hmm. then you still you knowing that you just have the other mm -hmm. sock it's sort of like oh if I at least that, get it started, that's what it I helps. found. Because I still have, I'm, I've started on my second mm -hmm. sock for using that sock blank, I think, or I'm just about to start on mm -hmm. it. But I've got the oh, one you started sock. it, yeah, yeah. See, it's been so long, I don't even remember. But it's, it's, the one sock is done because it's a mm -hmm. sock blank. You have to do them one at a time. And so one is done, and it's, it's like, oh, I can't bring myself to do the second one. So I like the idea of doing them concurrently. It is. It actually <laughs> it just, works out you a sort of feel quicker, like, for sure. Because I think I did that when I made my um, my Christmassy socks, my gingerbread house yeah. socks mm -hmm. last year. Yeah. Um, I I did them at the same time. Yeah. And uh, it works a lot. I just because I'll, I'll do like the one pattern on one, and then I I. I did the cuff and the pattern on one, mm -hmm. and then the other one, I'm starting the cuff and going to do the pattern, and then I will do another two patterns, mm -hmm. and then I will do two, two patterns, patterns, and then do the one pattern and start the heel. Yeah. So I do it like about, if you did it in tens, about 20 rows at a time. Like mm -hmm. I'll do 10, and then add another 10, and then I'll do that 10 to catch up, and then add another 10 sort of thing, or 20 oh, rows, okay. something like yeah. that. And that way I'm going back and forth, so they're both... About the and same time. And you're seeing progress. Like, and it feels yes. like you're getting a lot done. Yes. Because you're yes. just like, wow, I'm like halfway done two socks. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I could do the magic loop, but I find with a pattern, and then when it comes to doing the heels, I always had to take them off to work them on. And I just thought, you know, it's just better if I just do them concurrently. Yeah. That way. Yeah. Instead yeah. of two separate needles. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, 
maybe if I was just doing a vanilla sock with yeah. a German short row heel, mm -hmm. I would, I, that might be fine for mm -hmm. the magic. Plus I never seem to buy a big enough <laughs> thread. So, but yeah, okay. that, so that is one of the things that's I'm so working on. Your whips. And then it's beautiful. I can't wait to see them. I know they out. look really, really pretty. Mm -hmm. And then I have been also, I've also been working on my own shawl. I worked a little bit on it. Yeah. Um, so I put the, You're there we here. go, the stitch marker to where I was the last time, right yeah. here. Yep. Sorry, right there. So I've added that much. Yep. It looks like a really, I haven't gotten quite that far yet, but uh, it looks and it like looks, it's a really simple. It looks like it goes in. Yes. This, um, I've done six extra repeats mm -hmm. from the last time. And when I block this out, I'm only going to be blocking this section mostly this yeah. section just to even it up because um even my floats look great but it with the color work it does tend to pull it in yeah i'm just going to very lightly block these like the rest of it yeah. because uh the fabric is quite nice yeah it's the drape is just beautiful yeah. on this oh gosh it's so soft too right? i know yeah. it is it's so soft i'm yeah. really really happy and christina the cozy knitter helped us dye our yarn and I thought she did I just said yo I just went to her studio she had all the colors I just went I like that one and I want that one and that one and yeah so you know me I have a thing for gray yeah <laughs> so but I like adding the color to it as well I really really like these colors I think that it's really really nice yeah and I just decided I would go light to dark when it came to the the way that they go yeah. start with the main and then go from the lightest to the darkest color that's yeah. that's my that's how i chose yeah. it i could have done the blue in the center did the pink and the yellow on either side because that would have looked nice oh, too oh yeah cuz once you make your color selections it's it's kind of because yes, here it does it want. runs into like you got your gray and your yellow but then yeah. it's yellow and blue but then it's pink and blue and pink, pink and gray. And gray, yeah. So the colors do, which oh, I'm like, yeah. Because you know what fine. you can do is if you print out the pattern, you could print the the chart out. Because if you're, especially if you're a chart, chart reader yes. as you're knitting, yes. you could print the chart out and get some colored pencils and just color it in and see yes. how that looks. Because mm -hmm. really, that's the one place where the color overlays are really close. More important than so the solid So you could do, figure sections. it out that way yeah. and make your selection for how the um, rows of color are mm -hmm. going to be. Um, but I think that would be kind of a fun way because I was thinking yes. of doing that one because, okay, I'll show you where I am on mine. Yes. Um, such a super quick knit. Yeah. Uh, I am kind of mid row on mine, but the last time, two weeks ago, you may remember, I was, I had done about four rows of the, the cream. Of the cream. I hadn't done much of anything uh, else, but now in two weeks, this is what I have done. So I'm mid row, so I can't hold it all the way out, but um, look at that. It's and so gorgeous. these, I am so madly in love with these colors. And, um, Again, Christina, the cozy knitter, she helped us pick out colors. I had a little image that I had found, and so she made some suggestions, and we kind of just played with it. And so I'm really happy with how they turned out. Mm -hmm. And this this orange in particular uh, is, you know, I'm not a huge orange person, but recently I've really started doing the whole orange thing um, with a lot of, like, just clothing choices, etc. Yes. And I love this one because it's come out it's very kind of tonal marigold yeah sort of looking and it just anyway i'm just so happy with it so now i'm on the green which is for the heart chakra yeah um and i'm starting that so but i'm making a modification because i'm not doing i'm not doing the the multiples i'm doing just this center portion where the blue uh, is. where the blue is that's where my chevron is going to be so all I did was after I finished I just did a couple extra rows in cream and then I started in on on the middle of this yes part of the pattern um, and, and so then she'll do a couple extra rows, rows. at the end just yeah, to balance that just section to balance out. it out and then I'll move into that yeah. and I'm, I'm thinking that this should um, 
kind of move on nicely as, as yeah because it uh, did I only, over the weekend I can yeah get the chevron portion finished it's it's quite it's it's quite easy to work on because it is mm -hmm. like I'm doing the needle size that they suggest which is yep. the six and a half millimeter which is a ten and a half US, US. And Margaret had to. Margaret goes down because she's a loose knitter. Yeah. She went down I, to a I five usually, and a half. for a shawl, I'm not as concerned. No. Uh, but this one, I did start out um, on the six and a half, and I just thought it was more than just too drapey. It, there were sort of the whole. It looked sort of like there were holes or like it too too, too gappy. Gappy. So mm -hmm. I went too down. Too loose of a fabric. Um, to uh, five and a half millimeter, which yeah. I was saying, I guess is a nine and a half yeah. US. I'm not really sure, but it's much <clears throat> like it's quite substantially smaller, and yeah. yet it's about the same it, size. They're the same size. So, yeah, yeah it's uh, it's going to be anyway. I'm, yeah. And I'm happy with, with the width of it because like, yes. it's, it's something that you can kind of just yeah. wear wrapped around. I'm not sure, like. You can add, uh, you're going to add there, buttons. There's to buttons it, and buttons that, that you wear, add and you can like sort of put it together sort of poncho -y type if you want yeah. to. I'm not really a poncho girl. Yeah. But, you know, it's nice to have the option. And yeah. maybe, maybe once I have it, I'll be like, yeah, I'm definitely wearing well, it as a poncho. You know what? Well, it would be great after one of your yoga classes yeah, too, so. right? Like, you, so if you're going to go outside, you know, you, you, you're you warm, but it's going to, yeah. cool, you'll be cooled down. And that that helps just maintain the heat once you are left the studio yeah, true. So it'll yeah. be nice. I know. Yeah. So uh, anyway, we'll I see. I think it'd be perfect for an airline, uh, airplane flight. And for an airplane flight. Because yeah. I always take a shawl with me when I'm on the plane. Yeah. Because the air coming the down vents. from up there, yeah. it, I don't like the back of my neck. Mm -hmm. And you can be resting and all of a sudden you just feel chill. Mm -hmm. And that, so that'll sort of cover up more of you. You can either like open it right up and it can be a blanket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or you can just wrap it around you more like just like a this way almost. Yeah. And just keep it open and just wrap it around you that yeah, way so just to help your shoulders. Yeah. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, I think it would be very versatile. Or you can just roll it back up and you can put it as a back wrap. Yeah. <laughs> no, believe me, if there's a use for a shawl, I will figure out how to use it. <laughs> I like my shawls. <laughs> Now, often my husband, oh, can I have that? Can you? <laughs> sure, I'll roll it up, put it behind his back. <laughs> so, so um, and then the other thing I was, I haven't started. I swatched last night. Yes. Um, so I'm going to be making for my little great niece for Christmas um, this really cute little dress, this cupcake tunic. So, and I think it's the kind of thing that it could be a dress, and then as she gets maybe a little bit bigger, it could well, just be like a. Well, she's also very tall for yeah, her age. Yeah, like had a people top, think she was two because she's, yeah, she's very, very tall. tall. So as you can see, this is a pre pattern on Ravelry. Yeah. Um, but as you can see, it's it's got like a little eyelets throughout, and it's knit. I think it's top down, but it's knit um, in, in one piece in the round. So I'm thinking it's going to be a fairly quick knit, especially since it calls for worsted weight. So I'm going to use this gorgeous 100% um, superwash yarn that came from Knit Crate that we yes. got. So we got two skeins of this worsted weight. And look how beautiful that is. So as I said, I did a swatch last night um, and it worked out perfect as far as gauge. And she's going to alternate skeins because yeah. we got two skeins. So she'll alternate yeah. it so that there isn't any pooling or you don't so, see a change in the change of yarn. So that's the yarn we got from Knit Crate. Yeah, Knitology. 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 And it's their school zone, sorry, school zone colorway. Uh, so this was... They're bouncy worsted. Yes. So I don't remember how long ago we got this. If Just it was a, last, yeah, was it last month or no, it was two months ago, I think. Yeah. Anyway. August. Yeah. So that's the one we got and that's what I'm going to make out of it. Yeah. And I just think, anyway, I'm looking forward to making it because even the little swatch that I did yeah. knit up really quickly. So I'm hoping yeah, so this is going to be And next the same. week we should be getting it the next one. Yeah. And so yeah. we've just been notified that we're getting our next. Which knit we're, crate we're shocked because we honestly thought oh, it was only for a limited time. Like yeah. We three thought months, we were maybe get three it's months. six months. Who yeah, knows? But who knows? We're, we're getting it and like, ooh, okay. Yeah. So I just, I really wanted to at yeah. least try knitting something from one yeah. of their, yeah. from one of their knit crates. I know. Operates. I want to make some socks for them because they always come over and 
well, one of them always comes over and they never have socks. And I know their mother doesn't like to wear socks very often. Uh. So she, and I'm just like, hmm. No, I. They need socks. Yeah, they need socks. Yeah. If the weather's cooling down, and in the in their boots and shoes and stuff, they need to wear socks mm -hmm. because that way it'll stop their feet from smelling too, right? So, yeah, I'm gonna. So I want to make socks, but I'm thinking I really want to maybe make some socks out of that. Yeah, the, the gray one here. Yeah, I think that would because be because I think that'd be cute. I've got some children's patterns, so I would use this one. Yeah, that would be And sweet. then I can add some different funky colors for the toes and the heels yeah, and yeah. cuffs and stuff like that. You could even do like, a, like a, yeah, in the cuff. I was going to say, even just do like a, 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 like a, a couple, stripe. A couple of color rows for, of one stripe. Yeah, yeah. A stripe yeah, this is a merino color. Peruvian high, like 40% merino, 40% Peruvian highland wool, and 20% nylon. Mm -hmm. And there's 437 yards. You know how many babies, how many kids socks well, I, I can get say, out of this? You could make matching socks for yourself or I for know. mommy or daddy. Or, well, I, that's <laughs> one of the things I was thinking. I'm going, I always end up with a good amount of yarn yes. left over. I could easily make baby socks like kid yeah. socks like yeah. one for these guys afterwards yeah so because yeah. they don't use that much at all no so one's a size five and one's a size four four and a half mm -hmm. so for their foot size so yeah i know i think that's a yeah yeah so yeah anyway so, so that's, that's, a, that's an idea for me anyway. i think that's a good idea yeah so, um, that's, that's all the projects that we're working on, yeah. and I know we were just talking before we got started, like, uh, about, so yeah, know, like, the, what have we been up to? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Not too much at all. Nope. We, like, we went, um, Amanda, Yarn Enabler, mm -hmm. she has, um, she's, mo she moved down the street from me. She's about, uh, 10 or 15 houses down the street. <laughs> for me across the road and down the street so I've gone over to her house we've had, we have coffee we had lunch the other day yes. Christina the, the cozy knitter she put on our little group chat who wants, who wants to go, to go for, for lunch, lunch? Yeah. I want to go for lunch <laughs> we're like I'm in so I picked up Amanda and off we went yeah <laughs> and then she posted her picture on Instagram about of her set and we all had the exact same thing oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was too funny but uh, it was very, it's very tasty. Yeah. That, oh, yeah. The, the sandwich is to die for at this little restaurant that we have in town. It's just amazing. It's uh, it's turkey provolone, turkey, sliced turkey, provolone cheese, and pear, thinly sliced pear on a cranberry, sour, thyme, I think it's cranberry thyme sourdough bread. Oh, and wow. it's absolutely delicious. And then they grill it. And then we have it with this wicked chicken Thai soup. Which has a nice bit of heat to it. Yeah. I like. I dunk it and eat. Oh my god! It is like so good. And we all had the exact same thing. Yeah. We're like, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So that was your big outing. I, I haven't really. Run. I have not done anything. Mm -hmm. I've been kind of busy. I've got like deadlines, and I'm particularly trying to make sure that I stay on top of them because we're going to Rhinebeck in yes. the middle of the month. In and about in. Yeah, two like weeks. Two weeks. We're two leaving. weeks this so, weekend. Yeah, and I have deadlines coming up, and I I love to be able to get just to ahead have of them. Yeah, uh, but you know what? There's no guarantee that that mm -hmm. will happen because there's been like last minute things popping up. Yes. That, so I'm just trying to like stay on top of things because I really. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to going down to Rhinebeck, and, yeah. I, and I don't want to bring my computer with and me. And hence why we're recording Friday afternoon. <laughs> yeah, and so I, and I just really don't want to bring my laptop with me. Yeah. I don't want to work. I don't. Yeah. I just want to put it aside. Yeah. So um, yeah, we're leaving on the Thursday. Yeah. So we that's the night we usually have our knit night. So yeah. we'll have our knit night. In, in Rhinebeck. Rhinebeck. Yes. At the hotel, at, at the house at that the we're house. renting. So we're renting a house. Yeah. Uh, an Airbnb yeah. house. Yeah. So uh, Jen, the um, yarn therapist, yarn therapist, she, she took care of getting that house for us. So yeah. It's going to be an adventure, a nice yes. girls yes. weekend adventure. We'll so. leave on the Thursday. We have to stop off at Presqu'il and drop off our scarves for their Christmas at Presqu'il um craft and artisan show yes that they have um it's a it's a juried uh selection show yeah. and we entered it a couple years ago and, and they invite us back every year yes which is really nice yeah 
we very much enjoy doing that. So we yeah. sell a, some of our thin scarves that we yeah. knit up and things like that. Mm -hmm. Um, so we have to drop that off and then we'll head out. So it's not like last year where we wanted to get to needles up, but we were like, we left at like four 30 in the morning. Yeah. We'll be there the night before, like we'll be there the Thursday evening so we can just take our time and relax. Yeah. We don't have to get there, get there quick, 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 quick sort of yeah. thing. So yeah. we're happy about that. I, it's a be more relaxed pace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and Sunday will be a bit more relaxed pace coming home coming too. Home I think. As well, yeah, I think so. so. Because everybody lives sort of in town, and we'll just worry about getting you home on the Monday. Yes, definitely, <laughs> definitely. That's that was my plan. Is yeah. That I would stay overnight and not worry about mm -hmm. it. So. But yeah, so that's in a in a couple of weeks. Um. Yep. So we won't be probably uh, podcasting until after, after we get right back. back. Yeah. 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 So that'll be three weeks. Yeah. That'll be in three weeks. Yeah. Which, which is fine. Yeah, because then we can sort of, yeah, give yeah. you like a, a recap. Yes, <laughs> a recap of how we how how we did. Yeah, we um now we're looking. We've been trying to like, excuse me, go down, work down our stash. Yeah, for some reason that doesn't look like does. we've done that. <laughs> we joined Nick Crate. I guess it was April May. We yeah. got the letter from them in April. Yeah. And so we started getting our first one. I think we got June. Yes. So we've been getting two skeins of wool every, every month, month since June. <laughs> Which is another reason that it's like, I have to use something I know. from them. I, I know. And, really then, and then Connie had her, yes. had free international shipping. Yeah. So we thought, well, we have to. So we bought yarn. Yeah. From Connie. <laughs> yeah. And so, oh my gosh. And then we're we've just been not getting through it fast no. enough. <laughs> and, then, and then we've been to a few Fiverr festivals. And really, there was, I, there was a couple I didn't buy anything at. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to be a very. Yeah. Because um, you've, you've been to more than. I have. I've, I've been, been trying to, to be very selective on yes. what I yeah. what I buy because I'm going. I really don't need anything, and I know yeah. it's like, but it's yarn, exactly. <laughs> I and I get that <laughs> you get it and you touch it and you squeeze, squeeze it. it and I'm gonna pet it. you and name you George. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love that. I love that Bugs Bunny commercial. I love you and squeeze you and and take care of you and I will name you George as he's petting the thing's head. And they're going, wah, wah, wah. Big dog. I love that one. We're dating ourselves. But anyways, that yeah. So I'm trying to just be selective in what I what I buy. Yeah, and I'm trying to. I'm going to go through some of my stuff. I think I might get some, there's some needles. I'd like to get some mm -hmm. needles. Yeah. Um, I'd like to get a pair of sock blockers. Yeah. I might get some larger sock blockers mm -hmm. for my boys' socks. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll get some little ones, some kitty size blockers. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. Because, um, uh, like, yeah, I, I, I've got enough mm -hmm. yarn. Like, it's funny. I was saying I have project, I have, I think about eight project bags mm -hmm. with yarn and patterns yes. in them lined up I think on I'm, I don't know if I'll do this again next year yeah but I might do maybe half a dozen of them when I'm yeah. finished one I'll just pick one yeah because I, I will always try to keep a pair of vanilla socks on like oh, that's no. just to, just to keep knitting them yeah but I think I would like to like do that because it's nice it the, it the surprise is actually really nice because yes. if you do it in if I put them all in bags in like October yeah by the time January comes I don't know what I put in yeah. my bag so yes. it's like it's gone yeah. yeah well you know what yarns and stuff probably but I forget how oh, much stuff okay. I put in there because I was going I know I had that other yarn and that was the one that was this stuff yeah I'm going where did it, it go? go where did it go <laughs> Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's literally how it is. But it's a good way of doing it. Or you could even put, a, have a bunch of different, like the project bags, because a lot of them zip. Yeah. You can put the, the that, actual and that's project, zip it, and then just go, okay, my next project, project will is, be this bag. Yeah. And you don't know. You don't really know. You forget which I can which do that, because like I said, I've got them all. So I have this... um work table in my office mm -hmm. um and it, it's it's i've got project bags lined up on there and each like i said with a yarn and um pattern mm -hmm. in it and um 
I could easily, and I, I have done that. I had them zipped for a long time, and then yeah. I was like, I wonder what I've gotten here. I know, I know. <laughs> and, and it's like, oh, this looks fun, or it's, that looks yeah, fun. I know, and I, I, but you're right. I Until I unzipped them, I didn't I yeah, couldn't remember forget. what I you had in forget. there. I couldn't, but they were at least ones that I had looked at the yarn, and I thought, oh, this would be perfect for, for a this. particular pattern. Yeah, yeah. And um, so, yeah, I sh that's probably how I'm going to do whatever my next pattern is. Yes. Um, once I get the om shawl done and the dress done and the socks done. Yeah. Um, I think I'm just going to oh, do. Oh, I know. Because I'm like, I want to. I have some people. yarn that was, was Amanda's that I want to try and knit up that I got when she did. So this was years ago. A couple years ago. I, yeah. I got when she did. Um, Something with Mrs. Brown's bags. Oh, yeah. That was like two years ago. Oh, uh, yeah. Easily two years ago. Yeah, probably two and a half longer. years ago. Yeah. Yeah. And it's sitting in her, the Mrs. Brown's bag. Yes. Ready to go. Yes. <laughs> so, and I think I'm going to do socks. And mm -hmm. I just, um, I may even have a pattern in the bag with it. But, yeah. But that's the one that I keep thinking about. I oh, really okay. Well, do. that's yeah. a good thing mm -hmm. then. At least you're thinking about it. Yeah. I also have like projects that I have to finish. Like I've mm. always got projects I have to finish. And some of them I've been working on for like years. But they <laughs> sit for maybe another year before I work on it a little bit. And then it gets put down. And then I don't work on it again for another year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but they're very, they're very simple, basic ones. So it's not like, oh, where am I in this? Oh, pattern? Yeah. It's not. It's a very simple pat. They're very, very simple ones that you can just pick up and continue on. So that's. Uh, I I just have to get them done and get them out of the way. I've got that. I still have to do that the squares and stitch them all together. The one that was mums, mm, all those squares. Yes, yes. I still have to put that together. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's sitting there ready to go. I just have to do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's yeah. one of the things I've been trying to uh, think of. Like everybody starts thinking, starting to think of their word for next ne year. I have not. <laughs> I've got a rough idea. Yeah. Um, I th yeah, I don't think I'm going to say anything about it now, but no, I got, I, I think, about it later, yeah, but I, 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 it's been yeah. going through my head for the last yeah. month or so. And you're probably, so, and obviously you're thinking about what projects you're going to work on next yeah, year too. Yeah, yeah, like sort of, yeah. how you're going to do that. I haven't really been thinking about what projects I'm going to work on, mm -hmm. but I do, like I was saying, I do have projects that are um, sitting in bags that I keep looking at, thinking, yeah, I waiting have to got, start. Uh, yeah. this, like there are two in you particular. You got a sweater that a, you want to do. The sweater and those socks from Amanda's Yarn. Yeah. Uh, those are the two that I, that just keep, kind of playing in it, my mind yeah, yeah yeah so we'll see what happens in the next little bit but mm -hmm. um after I'm hoping that after Rhinebeck uh and like well I you know I'm hoping that my work kind of starts to settle down I know that by December it'll really settle down at yeah. least I hope so um so yeah, because a but, lot of years doesn't pick up until like May or June. Yeah, unfortunately, it's sort of like the last six months of the year is when I'm super busy with my freelance work. Um, yeah, so um, in the once and then I, I don't mind that though because then in the wet the icky weather mm -hmm. I, I can just sit at home and knit all day, which is yeah. really nice. I, I balance my time between writing and knitting yes so, which is like the things I love to do yeah so <laughs> it's not that I, I don't know. love my work just yes. in case anybody that yeah. I work with or for is watching <laughs> it's not that I don't love my work yeah she she does she actually enjoys I do I edit I, I she like, really yeah, does yeah but uh but it's just you know knitting and writing are the things that I you know you're they're your passions they're my passions yes yes, yes. Mm -hmm. so. I have a passion for you know correct usage and of English language. Yeah, English language as well. <laughs> <laughs> I posted this funny, funny picture on, on my Facebook page because I just thought it was hilarious. And it's a, like a hangman drawing, you know, the game hangman. And it said um, that, that hangman is uh, how you teach children that um, yeah. death or execution is the only solution to, to... incorrect spelling or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, uh, I thought that my editor friends would find that funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we are people who want to walk around with Sharpies and white out to fix, fix. misplaced 
apostrophes, apostrophes. and <laughs> misspelled words yes. and yeah, missing commas and it just yes, the world is a tough place for an editor. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Anyway, I think that pretty much, <laughs> yes. you know, we really Obviously, we haven't got an awful lot going on in our lives. If, uh, yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm waiting for my husband to come home. He's been yeah. out of town. So yeah. Um, he'll let me know when I have to go and pick him up at the mm -hmm. train. Yeah. So anyways, um, everybody, any Canadians who watch us have a great Thanksgiving weekend yes. and enjoy it. It will be three weeks and we will let you know, uh, if you follow us on Instagram, we'll probably post some pictures from Rhinebeck. Yeah. And maybe a little on the road trip, perhaps. <laughs> yeah. With yep. our, because well, it'll be, um, us two with, um, we have I think Jennifer uh, and Amanda, Jen, the yarn therapist mm -hmm. and Amanda, the yarn enabler are coming in. So the four of us are traveling together. Yeah. Um, oh, and I, you need to check out our Instagram. Margaret posted a picture oh, yeah. yesterday. <laughs> Jen, who's yarn therapist, did a, um, did a sweater, fern and feather. Feather and fern? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Did that sweater. And Margaret did her pure joy out of that pink. Yeah, from well, Feisty Fibers. From Feisty that, Fibers. That really vibrant pink color, yeah. like the color of my hair. Um, and She but knit a sweater. A sweater the where the body, body of the sweater. was that pink. Yeah. And then she dyes these self-striping yokes. Um, yokes for sweaters. Yes. And she, that's what she did the color work in, was that she just, because I think fern and feather is usually just... It's basically a two color, your main color, and then the pattern is one well, color. It's a different, yes. So she has it self striping, so it it's, changes color. So the choice that she made yeah. is what she calls deciduous. So mm -hmm. as you can imagine, it's it's shades of green. Yes. Um, and so at least that's what I saw in it. Yes. There's lots of greens. Yes. And uh, so that was in the the yoke, the pattern mm -hmm. of the yoke, and then the body and the arms was this pink, this yes. vibrant, vibrant pink. So this she, color. <laughs> yes. So she had just brought it. She said, I finished my sweater. And so she brought it to show us. Yeah. And she said, it hasn't been blocked yet, but she gave it to me because she, she knows how much I love it. Put that it color. on. Put it on. Try it on. I want to see it on you. And so I did. And it fit me perfectly. Oh, it looked amazing it, on you. It was like just so you. So, and, and Jen's like, oh my God, it fits. And, and so I said, well, you put it on because it's, it's your sweater. Yeah, I want to see it on you. And uh, it looked amazing on her. I yes. just, I'm like, okay, obviously I need to knit this sweater because yes. it's in these colors. Well, or... it's so funny too, because we're like, and they're the same size. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I'm, Jen's I'm like, easily, yeah. Jen's shorter and very... Yeah, and I... Yeah. And we're the... No. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, when I had it on, at least I was wearing my, my very nicely padded bra yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's what yeah. makes our sweaters look nice. Yeah, that makes a sweater look good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. So... so. I know, but yeah, the sweater, and it, but it shows a picture of the two of them side her, by side, side by side, yeah. wearing the sweater, yeah. and it just it looked amazing. Yeah, it's a little bit Absolutely dim. I tried amazing. to kind of brighten it with the with the with filters, the filters, but yeah, but yeah, yeah they it's a stunning. stunning it is. Sweater. It was just beautiful. But Absolutely she's, beautiful. she's an amazing sweater knitter. She she's really knit is. over ten this year. Yeah, I yeah. know. Like she she knits. She's at a least. knit machine. Yes, yeah, she, she knit. She can knit more than one a month sometimes she yeah. knits two yeah because i swear she's probably knit about 14 or 15 sweaters this year you said 10 yeah which is at least 10 yeah and i think she's done more yeah so i know because she all like and that includes her kids sweaters which yeah. are smaller but that's still like yeah. i'm still like Wow. Yeah, and she usually chooses something with a pattern. Yes. Either a lacy or a, a, a color work yeah. or something. So, well, there was yeah. also the picture of our Instagram at the KW. You were wearing one of yeah. her sweaters, yeah. and it had the self-striping yoke. Yep. It's great. You don't have to weave ends in. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you just add this plus. one. Yes. yes. A huge plus. <laughs> yes. Especially for people like us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, you can go on to her yarn therapist uh I don't know if she's still on Etsy. I think she is. Yeah. I think if you just go follow her on Instagram, there's yeah. probably a link on her Instagram. She's always account. posting stuff about yarn, stuff that she's dying, and she does yeah. wonderful work. Yeah. She does really wonderful work. Yeah. So, so. Anyways, that's it. Mm -hmm. Margaret has to get going home. Yeah. 
we have to get this edited and let the weekend begin. begin. Yes. So, so thanks so much for stopping by. I hope there was something of interest for you in all our chatter. Yes. <laughs> and our blathering. Uh, yeah. As and, our mother would say. And we will um, see you in about three weeks yeah. after Rhinebeck probably. Yes. So until then, have a great time. And yeah. uh, be safe and be kind. Yep. Yeah. Bye. Bye.